What up fam, welcome to your five minute market update. If you wanna know what to do for the CPI data tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Eastern, how to trade this, how to make money with crypto, with Bitcoin, with Ethereum, with all of the coins, uh, you gotta watch this video. I got four minutes, let's do this. Okay, so tomorrow's data at 8.30 a.m. Eastern is the inflation print that is coming out that is going to determine whether Ethereum goes to $900 down here or $1,800 up here, just kidding. It's already at 1800. It's probably the difference between going from $900 all the way to like, I don't know, $2,500. So we have a humongous range, okay? This is where we're at right now. This is where we could go if it's bad tomorrow. And this is where we could go if it's good tomorrow. So watch this video to figure out, you know, how to make some money. All right, so I've been talking about this for days. Obviously, if you're subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. Um, but I've been talking about CPI data as the most important event and I actually sold all of my Ethereum a couple days ago at 1700. I wish I would have sold it at 1800 when it actually pumped up that high, but I'm typically like three days ahead of all of you slow people on the internet. So if you're excited to get things three days early, even at my, uh, even though it doesn't help me out <laughs> that I'm so early to everything, you get everything three days early with me because I'm so much smarter than the rest of these idiots. I'm just kidding, but I kind of... I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't know why people don't see this stuff, why they don't connect the dots quickly. I'm trying to slow myself down so that I can make more money. But anyway, if you appreciate that, please do me one little favor. It's really hard. You just click here and then What's you up, just, fam? It's, really, not... it's really, really hard. You just like smash this like button right here. Please do that for the love of God and then share it with someone. You know, click right here, you copy the link and you send it to someone who wants to make some money because tomorrow is going to bend a few people over, I think. I think it's gonna be not great. Here's what I showed you yesterday in the video that 17 out of the past 17 times this report has not been great for crypto. And for a while there, I thought you guys were losing your minds because if we go to the hourly chart, everyone was like, oh, we're going to the moon. <laughs> Let me get rid of some of these drawings. But everyone was like, oh my gosh, we're going to the absolute moon. Send Ethereum to $1,800 and send Bitcoin to $2,500 because this CPI print is going to be great. And I was sitting here like, are you guys out of your freaking minds? Are you out of your freaking minds? You're just sending it. And now finally, I think the market watched my video. Like this is where you guys finally watched my video and thought, oh, this could be really horrible for the market. And then they dumped it. Okay, so now we're at 1600. I think it could get a lot worse. What do I expect for tomorrow and how, how am I going to play this? That's what you wanna know. Um, before I get into any of that stuff, I'm gonna start putting together a list of stuff that I use. Everyone always asks me like, you know, what are you doing? What are you using? I'm And the two links that I have so far that are you know able to give you guys discounts, I use FTX because I think it's the one of the only exchanges that there isn't a risk of it going down. So there's a link below if you need to buy Bitcoin or any coins or whatever, this gives you 5% off, which is cool. Um, so I'm gonna link that below. And then if you need a ledger to store your coins, right? If you buy the coins on FTX, you can withdraw them to a hardware wallet. Ledger is amazing, been using them for years. They're absolutely incredible, would highly recommend. I'm gonna put a link below there for a discount as well. And then I'm going to have uh, discount links for all of these indicators that I'm using in the next few days. So uh, if you guys are interested in trading and that stuff, you can let me, uh, we'll have that soon. And then obviously always two plus two Genesis, the NFT project. If you wanna talk about this stuff with me live, uh, this is where you need to be. Okay, so enough with the announcements. I have like two minutes left, but seriously guys, like this is just a simple, simple trade here. And it all comes down to the CPI data. So what are we looking for? So Ted has a very good you know, summary here. Go follow Ted Talks Macro, one of my friends on Twitter. He's amazing. And he's saying that the, there's two numbers that are coming in tomorrow, okay? So all you need to look for are these two numbers. I'm just gonna draw it out here so you can see it. 8.7% is the big number, okay? That's like the headline number. That's the one that everyone's gonna talk about, right? That'll, that'll be on the front page of the New York Times tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. If the number comes in higher than 8.7, Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that stuff is going to go down. You guys got me. If it comes in lower than 8.7, Bitcoin and Ethereum will probably pop temporarily, okay? But here's the issue and here's why I can't buy Ethereum right now. Here's why I can't buy Bitcoin right now, okay? And why I haven't bought any, even though we've dumped today. The issue is that um, the real, the real uh, number that the Fed is going to look at is called the core inflation. Core CPI has now fallen for three consecutive months. If you look on this graph, okay? So this is core. Core CPI means all of the ratings that make up inflation, right? Here's what makes up inflation. You guys see this? Food, beverages, housing, all this stuff, right? But it excludes, it excludes Food, right? Food and beverages and uh, energy, okay? It's not on this chart, but I don't know why. But anyway, it excludes food and beverage and energy, okay? Where's energy? Transportation would be on here. I don't know why these, Google, you suck. But anyway, those things are the most volatile parts of the indicator and it excludes those. And this is what the Fed uses to determine, are we gonna turn the money printer back on or not, okay? And what the issue is, is that 
Over the past three months, boom, 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 that has appeared to be coming down. And that is why the markets have got excited. They're thinking inflation is coming down, right? Which means that the Fed can turn the money printer back on. However, I've got really, really, really bad news for you. It's expected that the year over year core CPI is going to go up to 6.1% from 5.9% last month. So if that's true, it will buck the downtrend, right? That means the downtrend is now broken. Inflation is now sticky, right? That's not good. So month over month core is expected to have risen by 0.05. So you're going to see this number tomorrow too, 0.05. Okay, so core, core 0.05. Now, if it is anywhere below this, we could go up. If it's below 0.05 on core, this is the real good number, okay? If I see core below 0.05, I might actually buy some Ethereum because I think we're going up. If it's above this or equal to this, okay, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm just going to wait. You could probably short the market in that case because this is the key number right here. And I've been telling you guys for days, go watch my other videos, right? Like this one right here. I've been telling you that there are some factors that are extremely, extremely bad in particularly in this part of this video. Wages and jobs are both extremely high. Let's see where I put it on this chart right here. Wages and jobs are both way too high. Inflation is going to come in too high tomorrow. So there is literally going to be no case, in my opinion, for the Federal Reserve to turn the money printer back on. Right now, the market, the only reason the market has gone up, just so you're aware, the only reason the stock market has gone from the depths of hell down here, right, from the depths of hell, and these indicators are pretty cool, by the way, so wait for the links, because I got, I mean, these can really help you, obviously, like, look at this. Look at just, I know I'm getting off track here, guys, but if you're a trader, look at this. Like, it literally tells you just to buy down here, right? It tells you to buy down here, and it tells you to sell up here. Like, would that help you? So come back to the channel, subscribe. I'll get you a link to this. We'll save you some money. I think it'll be cool. But anyway, um, look at that. I mean, we were in the depths of hell and we went all the way back up here. This is the stock market, okay? And the reason for that is because people thought that, oh, inflation's coming down. I, I down, right? Money printer back on. That is the bet that people were making, okay? The, the issue though is, is not only do we have inflation not going down, we have wages going up, which is another measure of inflation. So that's bad. And we have uh, uh, jobs, jobs going up, which means that we're not in a recession, which is also bad for the money printer. Okay, so we have a triple whammy. This is not great for crypto. I was as bullish as anyone, guys. You can go look at my, you know, I make I make pretty clickbait thumbnails. I'm not going to lie, but you guys should actually watch the videos. But I was talking about, you know, Bitcoin to a million, you know, I'm just, these are just thumbnails, but basically I was talking about buying a bunch of Ethereum here, which I did. I bought Ethereum at like, I don't know, now my charts are all messed up, but I, there were like two or three times now that I bought Ethereum down here at like 1575 and I sold it at 1700, two or three times, which is great. But, but in this market, you have to take profits guys. And so I would be very, very careful. I would definitely follow me on Twitter or get in the, even better would be to get into the NFT because I post my trades live in there. But um, if you're following me on Twitter, I, I mean, I'm going to post this stuff live tomorrow and I'm going to be trading it live. So my, so my last game plan, just to, so you guys know what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to make this very simple. Sorry. I know this is a little bit longer than five minutes. It's going to be like a nine minute video. Okay. I'm just going to pull up a random chart here. Okay. So here's my plan. If we come in below, how do I do the below sign? <laughs> Under 8.5 on the on the uh, headline number, headline number equals massive buy. Okay, buy. We're gonna buy. Okay, this is for the headline number. Under 8.5. If it's 8.6, maybe I'll buy a little bit. 8.6 equals buy a little. Maybe I don't know. It's gonna be a game time decision. Okay. 8.7. No way. 8.7, oh, ah, 8.7 equals no, no. And if it's 8.8 .8 or higher, I would, I, I'm not gonna short because I'm not gonna use leverage, but if you guys want to short, I understand. If it's higher than 8.7, we're going to short the living hell out of this market. Okay, short, short. Okay, that's for headline number, got it? Headline numbers, you good? Okay, there's one more number that comes out, right? The core. Core number, and if you guys don't think this is important, you're insane, you're smoking crack, share this with someone. There's more alpha in this nine minute video than I've seen on YouTube total, okay? I don't know, people are just idiots. So core is expected to be 0 0.5. Okay, if it comes in at 0 0.5, do nothing, nothing. Okay, it's expected to be there. If it's higher than 0.5, short, definitely short. Okay, we're going to hell. It's all going to hell. 
And if it's lower, if it's lower than 0.05, consider buying. Consider buying. However, however, I would be careful. Okay, I do not think. I think that this this event favors the bears in a huge way. Okay, there you go. You can screenshot this, share this with someone. It's an easy way to make money tomorrow. Okay, um, this is what the market's going to do. However. I would be careful. Like if we get a print, if we get Ethereum pushing up to, I know my charts are super messy here, but if we get one more push up here on Ethereum to like 1900, 1800, someone gets really excited tomorrow, I would take some profits. Unless that print is like super low, unless we go, you know, 8% inflation, which I think is impossible because rents are so high. Uh, this is like a take profit zone up here, okay? Like TP, take profits. Okay, I'm just warning you guys because I don't think we're going back to new all time highs right here. There was an amazing chart. Who posted it? My boy, uh, Crypto God John. He's amazing. Uh, let me see if I can pull him up. I didn't plan this. Crypto God John, go follow this guy. Uh, he's a beast. He's an absolute beast. And so he posted this chart right here, and I like it. He thinks we might come back down to about $1,200 Ethereum. I think he's right. I think we've gone way too high, way too fast. I think people have priced in a Fed pivot way too fast. I have been guilty of this too. I thought it made sense, but then wages and payroll came out and now I'm, I've sobered up a little bit. So anyway, check out the links guys, sign up for FTX, get a ledger if you want. I'll have links to the uh, indicator soon. Join the NFT project, all that stuff. Anyway, I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace. Bye.